fucking uh, Hello. Hello. lemonade by. I don't remember a single artist on that song. Nice, nice, good job. And it's like, up there, Joe's got it, got me dripping. You know? Yeah. Lemonade, my neck was dripping. Eyes! You know what I'm talking about. All right. Hey, gamers, welcome to Dungeon Discourse. And boy, oh boy, gosh, golly! We have some it's shit a doozy. To, we have some shit to talk about because last session was uh, probably the most intense one of the campaign so far. I, 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 not for me. It was a breeze, easy breezy. Yeah, uh, right. Yeah, yeah. That's, um... panic once. Mm. Uh boy. Hey gamers, today we have uh, Duke and Koibs joining me uh, for obvious you. reasons. I think uh, for those that have watched the uh, the episode, they'll know that um, these two in particular went through some shit. So we're gonna talk about it. We're gonna we're gonna uh, unwrap it for you and talk about it and. Talk about some of the, uh, <clears throat> you know, some of the things that that may happen because of what happened and all of that. I as we do, spoiled it for Bowdy. Did mm -hmm. you? Oh, yeah. oh no, rough. I have other shit up his mind, me. No, he's pashed. Oh. Uh, before we do that, though, uh, we are still raising money for charity. Exclamation mark charity. Uh, raising money for special effect. Uh, for the next, uh, for a little under two more weeks. So we're, we're just over halfway through the campaign raised uh more than 700 pounds for special effects so far some cool incentives have been unlocked it's it's a banger good shit uh special effects is a great cause if you want to donate uh, especially for charity in chat and there's there's a lot of information about special effects and uh, ways to donate there um man that's my announcement anyone else have anything that they want to say or share i have no snacks for this course it feels like it doesn't work no, Too we need to keep a, quite a bit of snack hour for like that's that's a Sunday thing, you know what I mean? Yeah, I got new dice. It's pretty possible. Oh. Show us. Oh. Nice. I got ones that are made of I can't remember what, which is some gemstone. It's in like three different packagings. I got ones that have like seashells, like real sea sh 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 seashells. Sh 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 and yeah, I got ones that have little like swords and shields in them. That's so cute, dude. Got a game tea. And I went to game tea and, and I used code SirDuke33. <laughs> and I tell you what, it shouted at me for using it because it went, you've got a better deal already. You can't use the code. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the better deal was the three for two. Yeah, so I got rid of one of my dice sets. Acrylic dice. I got rid of one of my acrylic dice sets just to use the code for the homie because I'm a good friend. But, you know, if you want to get a whole new... pound more to get <laughs> if you one get dice set fresh... less. <laughs> Fresh art prints or candles. Dude, I got some, or I got some prints from GameT that I need to get framed, but candle. they are bangers. It's a good website. If you want yeah. some nerdy uh, decorations for your walls or dice, um, or don't they like fucking cool like, notebooks and shit as well? Yeah. They, 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 they got the field notes stationary. They got the fucking. Uh, Check no, it out. Didn't get my notebook from there. Oops. Um, <clears throat> <clears throat> they got some good ones, though. Yeah, Code 33. 5% off. There you go. Help out a homie. Support the homie. Game Team it was, Ambassador. It was purple fluorite gemstone. Uh, sassy. There you go. Dude, I purple love fluoride. fluoride. Isn't that shit the same toothpaste? Fluorite, not fluoride. <laughs> fluorite, fluoride is not in toothpaste. That's the joke. Oh, um, oh, it's the joke. All right. Uh, that's it for announcements. Um, oh, the word. Sorry. We'll uh, start off with a little, with a little recap. Uh, because uh, last session was a was a doozy. It was a just pretty much a three and a half hour combat session, and then like twenty minutes of RP after, and then that, we ended it there. But the fight was something. The party made it into the final fight to get the final piece of the trident that belongs to Umberly. the The whole reason they were there in the first place. But they faced off against Evander High Castle, one of Umberly's chosen undead champions, um, along with some of his. Um, so who again underlings and after defeating Evander High Castle uh, you were faced by an avatar of Umberly herself a very big insanely big uh, tidal wave like being and from it emerged uh, the upper torso of Umberly herself and um, a lot happened a lot happened it was a long fight it was a hard fight a lot of people went unconscious, including Davian, who uh, unfortunately 
also died, uh, and that makes Davian the first character to have to have to have died in campaign two. The first character to have actually gone past the state of being unconscious and uh, died. You of us have been close before that. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. We've been super fucking close. Um, yeah, I, I was death door against the Hydra <clears throat> as well. Thankfully, the Avatar of Umberly was defeated in time for a Lazarin to run over to Davian's lifeless corpse and revivify him back to life. Um, while that was going on, during the fight, Kesslin unfortunately got struck by a certain type of um, blast fired by Evander Highcastle that uh, turned her to stone, petrified her. So Kess is currently a statue, but after talking to Blue, you've you've made it so that she will be transported to Eldilon safely, and you can hopefully find someone in Eldilon to take care of her in this uh, condition. But um, when reviving. Davian Elazrin also had a vision of some sorts, almost as if... I'd like to explain it as this is the first time Elazrin has really had to dig that deep into his faith, into his being, because this is the first time he brought someone back from death. Um, and it... Uh, it began showing him a vision. A vision that went by really fast, but the one thing that 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 Lazarin could kind of differentiate from it was some kind of being made of rock and and, and earth, rock and stone. <clears throat> uh, with that, you all got transported to the deck of the porcupine, thanks to Blue, who uh, decided to help you out with that to get you out of there safely, without damaging uh, the statue that is Kess. And that's where we left it off. And that's where we're going to pick it up this Sunday. But um, first things first, I just want to ask you guys. Today is going to be a different one. Today we're not going to do Tweet of the Week. We're not going to look at fucking, uh, you know, the new D one D&D stuff. Because I feel like we have a lot to talk about about the session already. So I just kind of wanted to dive into that right away. Hell yeah. Uh, but first things first, like, what are your overall just thoughts on, on the session? Uh, starting with... Uh, ah, whichever wants to go first, really. Oh, oh. Okay. I really, I really thought you were going to pick... It was a fucking, it was a, it was a fucking doozy, as we said. It was a good session at D and D. Was you know, it, I like to have those combat focused ones occasionally. Obviously, too much of it, you start getting a bit bogged down in mind of like, okay, cool, next combat, next combat. You know, yeah. we like we like the rest, we like a bit of everything. Yeah, this was one I, of those like end of end of story arc level yeah, up boss I, fights. You know what I mean? And they 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 tend to be quite grand. Yeah, I... You've fucked with my brain once again, Mr. DM. He's gone that... Because I have no idea... Like, this is as great as I have no idea where this is going. So I'm super fucking intrigued and in. But I'm also just like... Oh god, <laughs> this man has already suffered so much just like mental anguish. He now also has... <laughs> oh god, what's going on in my brain when I revive someone? Fantastic. <laughs> and I love it. <laughs> like, Elazarin's thing is just like his story I love is so it. like... It all connects. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, which it's is, all part of one, like, bigger picture when it comes to Elazarin. Which Elaz is, Elazarin. That's, uh, yeah. Well, I love, which I personally love, but as a character, Elazarin, he hates that everything's gonna, because he's just like, just one time, please. Just please let this not be part of it. Like, full Charlie Day, like, conspiracy red thing going on in his brain already. He's just like, <laughs> maybe I'm wrong. What if I'm just wrong? Would that be great <laughs> if I was wrong? <laughs> And he's just like, he's not, he's not wrong. There's another coincidence, baby. <laughs> it's, it's another thing. <laughs> but no, I, I just you loved wait, it. Dude. Like you ain't seen oh, nothing fuck. yet. You ain't exactly. Seen nothing that's yet. the worst bit. It's like this. This is like the of the, like the iceberg meme of like how far down into of like Dungeons and Camera to you iceberg. Like this is like the tip. <laughs> and with that, like oh god, <laughs> just the tip. This is just the tip. So I need. Um, but no, overall good session. Loved it. I love this shit. So I come back every week. I got beef. I got beef. Uh, go on. What were your thoughts? As a player, too? I've got beef. Okay, go on. People fucking run. People fucking run. You run? Really though? People run. Hang yeah. on. I, I wouldn't have run if I was in that position, but I get why they did. You know what I mean? Like, because a stupid old man said run. 
What is this? Fucking Lord of the Rings, Return of the King, fucking. Uh, I think that was two. Was that two towers or first? No, that's literally the first one. I'm pretty sure that's Fellowship. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a flashback. No, it got, wait. What? Yeah. How can it be the first one when they're at? No, it's Mines of Mario. Oh, yeah. I was thinking it was Mount Doom. It's Mines of Mario. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. yeah. Well, anyway, um, <laughs> I mean, yeah, it was a good. It was a good session, and it was a combat-heavy session. I think we used like every fucking last drop of everything, right? Um. I haven't watched Lord of the Rings in a fucking long time, okay? Just shut up. Um, Onu died as well. That, I Honestly, that hurt me more than me dying. Aww. And Onu's death is so temporary, too. Like, I literally will bring her back in the morning. But... Mm. That sucked. But, like, the yeah. Thing is, like, the, 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 the thing about that fight that was so hard is the fact that you had a limited space with a creature that had a long reach and a lot of AoE. I I think the biggest challenge was I don't somehow I, I don't think anyone was like there's a phase two. I don't think anyone was expecting a, the the whole uh, when it happened. Everyone was like, oh yeah, the whole avatar business. But up until that point, we were like, we kill the guy, we get the thing, we go. I think yeah, I was expecting an avatar of unbelief, like or something like that. I was thinking. A more unbelie presence but like later like very much a part of the escape part of the like we kill this guy unbelie's now noticed and pissed off and is now coming for us and we'll maybe yeah. have this escape we'll maybe might get a short rest in we might get I, something yeah, I, I don't have but shit i had no spell slots yeah i, I knew we weren't gonna get another long rest before we had to deal with something to do with unbelie right was not expecting an avatar of unbelie that that's what i think as someone who was part of run gang or at least wanted to be part of run gang in the sense of like trying to help that escape that's what not to mention that's like, what threw me that's what was like oh, this is bad like this is a the number of God. we need to, the number of natural 20s that dutch rolled in that dude combat. yeah no i rolled my ass that's there was the there was it was one of those that's also i think part of me that made me go more wrong was like Dutch just rolling out of his fucking ass today. Well, you know what I mean? Like, Dutch is rolling insane. We as a party collectively are rolling quite bad. Luck I was rolling well, dude. I rolled well the whole fight. I your side of the the, the, the the DM screen as well, to be fair. Yeah. I didn't see him. You, know? no, you didn't, but like, I, I, I know I was. <laughs> no, I actually, actually no, I had I one too. No, you know, my I lions, my lions rolled a couple. I think my lions rolled a couple, actually. My lions rolled like three, I think. There you go. Like, there were a lot of magic punches all around. Like, Oh, yeah, crit at some point. No, yeah. there were, like, okay, put it this way. There was a lot of natural 20s then, in general. Yeah. This yeah. was a very, just, just how D&D works sometimes. You just have yeah. those games where, like, every other fucking roll is this, you know, this high number. And it, it seemed like, because I'm, you know, I know Dutch is type, the type of DM who would always give us that option that running away is, is an option. Yeah, no, you could have fully, you, you could have backed out. The, yeah. Like, it, like, it, it, it's, it was hard, but, like, there, there yeah. was, the thing is, I'll, I'll give you a bit of a like in like in look into my brain, but I I wanted this to be the most dangerous, scary, uh, risky endeavor the entire dungeon that is yeah. that your party has been on to date. Yeah. So I knew, okay, I'm gonna chuck a bunch of like small fights in there that won't necessarily hurt them too much, but we'll tap them out of resources a little bit. Just you know, poke at your resources a little bit. And then, um, you know, when it came to the to the final fight, the I I, I didn't want Evander to be a bitch, and then Mummy Umberly comes in and just starts kicking ass. I want Evan I want Evander to be just as much as a threat to you, kind of forcing you to not be like, oh, I'm gonna save my shit for whenever Umberly shows up. I I wanted you to like feel the necessity of like, dude, listen, if we don't if we save our shit, I'm not using Evander, we're gonna not even beat him. Um, I want this to be very hard. I want this to be challenging, and I wanted this to be a fight with repercussions. And I think that was my goal. And I, I think I, I did that. I, yeah, right. I like, think as well. Like, I'm very much. Uh, I would rather run earlier than later. Like, I'd rather. I'd rather go. This is a threat. Whilst we've still got health and still got resources, let's get the fuck out of here so we can use them. Rather than we're fucking tapped, and we gotta try and get out on like half health, less than that two people down with fucking back and forth in just, just how i am but then the... what happened was we split 
and yeah. it happened anyway. <laughs> so I was like, the, the we split, had the worst the of both the, worlds. The split was the decisive part. Oh, it yeah, was 100%, like, 100%. if if we'd all done one thing or all done we the other, we would have we would have been a lot better off. Pretty fine, yeah. But it didn't like, help. But I'm Jax straight away. Was the that one factor. who said run, and then Jax yeah. didn't run. Run, yeah. and like Davian had just fucking dragged Celesti out of the damn thing and brought her back from the fucking brink of death, I and then suddenly, like twice or maybe even three times, twice. Yeah. suddenly, fucking. We're all invisible, and there's a fog cloud, and like, what the fuck is going on? Dude, that fucked me We couldn't me see as well, anything, we so couldn't see shit. each other. There was so much, like, shit going on that just made it overly complicated, and just made it even harder. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I mean, we were our own With, Without enemies. either of those things, if we, you know, we just focus fired it, a couple of people would have been knocked unconscious, but I think it would have been down, like, like, sooner rather than later, because... You know, cause, well, we got it down eventually with only me dying, and you know, that's no biggie. But like, yeah, it was that split, and it just became chaos. Like so fast, it became chaos. Mm. Just you as a group. Two people are booking it out the door. Two people are in a fucking cloud of fog. I'm stood in the corner, just th like throwing fucking <laughs> eldritch blasts and like trying to double stab this bitch. And like, I, mean, I was up and down group, as well. As a collective party, just made the fights a lot harder than it could have been yeah yeah which sometimes and it happens to all of those who fled in i the mean face i will i will of peril uh slightly half defend my decision on that dust of disappearance mm. i feel like i've got a lot of flack no i feel like this. I, I can i can i can i like yeah. guess yeah, what because you, yeah. last one was on team get the fuck out of here yeah so last yeah. was like if we all go invisible we dip that was, yeah. I think that was your your, your game yeah. theory. And, and the invisibility and the dust of disappearance only goes when you attack or cast a spell. It states Yes. That. So if we got hit, it didn't matter. We were still invisible. You just keep on going. Right? But our only exit but then is directly did, through. through her. Which, like, that, I think, function straight away was that initiative-wise, Umbly rolled real high and yeah. was just next. It was just turn two was Umbly. Oh. So we didn't have enough time to back up, get out. So Umbly just went, oh, my movement's this. Umbly Block your exit. Rolled... Whatever it was, it was pretty fucking next. Because I think we stopped like halfway through initiative, right? It's when Umbly came out. Yeah, so yeah. she went... I think she went after... I think she was sec second in initiative after Brooks, maybe. Whoa, if she I wasn't second she... initiative... I think she, she wasn't second in initiative. I think she was after Kai, maybe. If she wasn't second, she was very much like, wherever we end... Wherever combat... Yeah, wherever the combat she ended. Got or like, yeah. She, she was, was next. Right in there, yeah. yeah. So it was just it was just one of those things that even if she didn't roll high, she was just next. And we didn't have chance to regroup ourselves and thing. It was next straight, like, Armbrey's in that corner. Armbrey's blocked your exit. Right. Okay. We gotta fucking think about this now. Um, I did forget when I used the dust that it hits everything in the 10 foot radius. Yeah. Until as I used that, I read it. I was like, it says everything, not every ally. <laughs> Just yeah, like, but Umbly immediately started swinging, so it wasn't. Yeah, like, yeah so it was I like, didn't give a fuck. She was like, I mean, yeah, wasn't exactly. I'm here to kill these motherfuckers. Don't be wrong; it was definitely a panic decision. I was like, I've got what have I got? I'm literally looking at my inventory and like stuff. Like, what have I got? Because I have realized have my bag of tricks. <laughs> literally, I've realized my spell choice going into this dungeon was not great. <laughs> I had taken a lot I feel of support like this spells. is the third time or something that you've been yeah. in that position of like, hmm, prepared the wrong spells for this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, it was because I like playing a Lantern in a certain way, and then I realized, hang on, that's not really great. <laughs> so it's just like, a lot of support spells, I can do a lot of support, but that like, pure damage you can get on a cleric spell, that sort of like, I got a lot of spells that do the same thing, that give everyone else advantage to like, fairy fire, blindness, deafness, you know, a good spell. All my auras, great spells, yeah. but they do the same thing. They yeah, give it's advantage. Like finding a balance, I guess. You know blindness, I mean? deafness. It, I mean, blindness yeah. gives disadvantage on them yeah. too, and like, we, yeah, fairy fire. I don't think discriminates between hostiles. So, in you the can area, pick. you'd still hit I allies. Think you think? Can oh, okay. Oh, maybe not. I can't remember. But you can, you can still do like a lot. And I think fairy fire is one of my like always prepared spells as well. With tired domain makes sense. Uh, yeah, it's one of those right. ones. Uh, it's fairy like, fire is. It might be everything in the each object in a twenty foot cube. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Any creature in the so, area when spells cast is also outlined. Yeah, whereas yeah. blindness yeah. is, however like, many 
it all make yeah, a con one. save. What's, yeah, it's what's con. verified? Dex? Dex, con. yeah. Dex, yeah. So it's Dex with con. So, like, it's obviously different saves, so. Yeah. I have that. Obviously, I've got all my, like, vitality spells and healing. Which did then, you, like. Did you, did you just say vitality? Yeah, vitality. The word? It's a mashup of vi vitality and utility. Yeah, I'm what the sure. fuck? <laughs> Vitality's a word. Vitality. Vitality. You, uh, fuck you. You're whatever. <laughs> just pretend. Just pretend you're mashing up vitality and utility. True. Yeah. Sure. That's what I, I thought he was doing. Sure. That's what yeah. I thought he was doing. Yeah. Oh, nice. Vitalitarian. I got a lot of the spells that fucking help, right? But fucking man, <laughs> my output. Oh, put on. Like, well, I've already got this concentration spell up. Right. Uh Sacred the, flame. I mean, <laughs> the, the dome's ridiculous. Yeah. It the is. dome is insane. And Which isn't concentration like, either. I can have yeah. my, I can have two auras up. I can have an aura up and the dome. It is. Which is why crazy. Because of that dome, if you face yeah. a, a an enemy that is that is I not know. stupid, you're always going to get targeted because they want to get rid of that. As soon as they realize, huh, there's this big fuck off bubble emanating from this squishy cleric. I think I should probably target him first. Just have this hunch. Every, every, you know I mean? every time someone does something, they seem to like have a. Yeah, he probably looks like fucking them. Anduin. You know what I mean? Like just with this it, huge fucking golden yeah, like, dome. Imagine, but, but imagine that with like purple dark. It's, yeah, it's yeah, darker. Yeah, yeah. I it's always twilight. say, look, no, I, I always say it looks like you know the you know Twilight Princess. You know the big triangle that goes over the castle. Yeah, it's, it's like, like a that. gold. It was blacky and gold <laughs> and a little purpley. Stop. <laughs> I know. I we're moving past it. That's when I see. Funny. Okay, that's funny because yeah. I played. I you know I love Twilight yeah. Princess, but yeah. when I think Twilight, I always yeah. think like a think goldy, Twilight. orangey yeah. color of I always like think more purple. But the transition I'm also of, on, of yeah. Team Purple when it comes to Twilight. The transition know. of day to evening is Twilight. Yeah. So why would it be purple? Like because that's they, the, the purple. or rather purple. the transition of evening to night. That's, that's not purple. It goes purple, dude. Have you not seen a sunset where it goes like orange to purple? Mm, I would say red, but not purple. Anyway, D and D. <laughs> oh god, I just Google image Twilight like a fucking oh. idiot. <laughs> <sighs> Twilight Robert weather. Mm. So Twilight sky or something. Sky. But um, it. Yeah, like okay, I all right, I see some shades of purple, but. Yeah. But the orange the one the, the one that really strikes me is that is that blue to orange, yeah, you know, sort of shade. But yeah, like to get back to um, the subject matter at hand, um, the there was a lot of like weird decision making that made the fight harder than it could have been. Uh, it was a lot made, of panic buttons, right? Yeah, people panic people buttons. panicked, yeah. and this is the first time yeah. this campaign that I saw people like panic and fuck up. Yeah, shit's going wrong. Oh, fog ring. <laughs> Invisibility, like, yeah. oh god, and, yeah. and not much forethought, and just immediately being fucked by all of it. Yeah, it was just like, god man, the fucking panic button went, and you know you hit the panic button when instantly you do it, and you just go, what the fuck? fuck. <laughs> like, it's like, oh, it's not even like instantly, it's like two turns later, and it's just like, why did I? Who? It's like, who did that? You did. Ah, <laughs> and the thing yeah. was like, <clears throat> the window for you guys to to escape was always there, is always there, right? You could have yeah. gotten out. Oh, because understood. the thing is, if you would have made it out of that room, hmm. she would have just kind of, she would have chased you. But it would have probably ended up evolving into this like, you guys basically wasting the time she has, that she can be in the avatar form and be on this plane because you guys got given the, uh, <clears throat> the note several times of like, hey, she can only be on this plane a limited amount of time, so. You know, that was always going to be a factor of, like, you could just waste her time. You could just fucking waste her time and get the, and try and play with that. Do you have a, like, idea in mind of how much time or combat rounds it would be? Or do you, do you like, roll? Or were you um, just sort of seeing how it's sort combat, of went? In combat, I just kind of have, like, okay, she'll be there for 10 rounds. If 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 if, oh, okay. if she is still alive after 10 rounds, she she just kind of, like, flickers out of, uh, out of, you know, she fades out. Um, but then what would have happened is she would have just come back. And, like, on right. your journey back, she would have just fucking <laughs> the ship or whatever yeah. the fuck, you know what I mean? Yeah, but at that point, we'd at least a chance to recover. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. But, um, that would have been, like, if you made it into, like, the tunnel leading out, like, leading out of that chamber, the fight would have transitioned from, you would still be an initiative, but it would have transitioned, instead of, like, actually fighting her, it would have transitioned into a, a thing of, like, 
make saving throws to see if you can like fucking get out or ooh yeah, yeah. Umberly yeah. smashes like sends a tidal wave forth everyone rolls a fucking deck save to see if you manage mm -hmm. to stay on your feet or whatever the fuck you know what I mean yeah uh, so the, the the opportunity to escape is always there but not gonna lie just given how much like drama <laughs> this fight brought with Kes being a statue Davian dying Lazarin unlocking like some kind of fucking like partial vision very like Mass Effect-y, you know, in Mass Effect 1 when Shepard like touches the fucking Prothean beacon and just fucking goes yeah. uh, God. Like, like that kind of um, I, I think for the, for the continuation of the campaign and especially like this next like upcoming upcoming like like story arc I guess where that's when the party's gonna actually be dealing with like all the all the like things that happened I feel like this is probably the best outcome we could have had, story-wise. Pretty good. There's a, there's a lot of threats we have this th threat of like, oh fuck, guess his statue, that's shitty. Davian died, so that's gonna bring some like real fucking shit with it. Uh, Lazarin had to bring somebody back from the death for the first time, which is also gonna be fucking... Like, there's a lot, there's a lot of shit. Um, there. Especially for, for, for those three characters, I guess, that it's gonna put things into perspective? Maybe? Like, make them realize they're not untouchable and vulnerable they are they definitely are very much mortal you know what i mean but i feel like that's always the thing with dnd campaigns and parties is like they feel fucking untouchable and then one person dies and it's like oh wait hold, wait shit we can die and that's kind of how like p people's like attitudes like characters like attitudes kind of change to like from like being like oh we got this to like oh wait do we Little do you know. Oh no. Davian died, and then now we're leveling up and becoming more powerful, so. Let's see what he takes effect. away from this. <sighs> I what actually so this is quite weirdly quite good of a, a story arc for Elazarin as well, in the sense of like so we've just leveled up. Um in my level six spoilers for the, the trait I get, but like I can now fly in twilight, in dim light. That's sick. As a bonus action. That's so fucking cool, what the hell? Like, so many times per my profici proficiency bonus. So suddenly now, Lazarin has healed someone and now is suddenly... He's literally an, an angel. Angelic. Now. He's angelic. Yeah. And he's just like... That's gonna fuck with his brain so Meanwhile, Damien he's... died and is coming back with... More what, power. two... What's, yeah. What are they called? Eldritch Invocations? Like... Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, it's very much a, like, weirdly, a, a, like, Elijah the and Damien is, the have the Elijah same is, though, sort like, of... Is he going to think that it's because of his, like, connection to Joaquin, or is, it, or is he going to think, like, this has something to do with the vision that I saw? That's what I wonder. See, here's the thing is, because he will probably have a crisis about both. <laughs> He'll probably mm -hmm. think it's somehow both, and be like... It's pretty much his reaction to everything at this point. <laughs> well, yeah, he's a broken, broken man. Like, yeah, he's this a is... very high-strung little man. Yeah, this this is a guy who's gone from being like, I live the life of luxury, kind of, to being it, like... It is, okay, hold on, though. It is pretty funny <laughs> that, like, from a... Uh, uh, from a, a very binary standpoint, yeah. uh, Lazarin resurrects Davian and mm -hmm. becomes like more angelic Davian dies and becomes more demonic yeah. in like the most sort of like reductive way possible because like, they are warlocks and and yeah. like yeah cause Sooth is not he's not a demon he's an elemental all that but, shit but like that is a funny way to look at it that yeah, no, I feel you I feel grow it. your twilight wings and I'm gonna be shooting fucking more fire than ever like it, I th what's great about that is, though, is that I feel like almost how they will use their powers now will almost be that opposite. I feel like Davin's probably going to use his powers more for good because he's like, is my life this short? And and I was just going to be on the strip of like, fuck it, I can bring people back. Like, let's go. Like, I am now this, you know. The, I feel like the ego. I have the opposite feeling, yeah. at least in terms of how they use their abilities to True. be like, oh, well, I guess, I guess, uh, you know, in, in terms of sort of an inspiration. Because <clears throat> Davian is not a good guy really his motivations are not very pure oh, he's neutral like, he, he's, and very, like he's like he's very robin hood but in the sense of like yeah he's doing good things but that's just because it's there yeah, <laughs> like, he's doing, he's doing good things because it's there but his greater pursuit is power like that yeah. that's it and boy is he getting it and it's like brought back from the brink of death 
Like, not even... Not from the brink. Umberly could death. kill him. Right. No, not from the brink of death. He got brought back from death. Umberly de sure. Umberly definitely killed him. He was dead. But... Don't get it twisted. Couldn't keep him down. You know what I mean? Like, it's it's uh, it's a very, very, you know, it's a bad, it's a bad frame of mind for for a guy that has made a deal with a fucking elemental lord that, like... I mean, but the thing is, like, say say this is, like, what happens and, you know, Davian starts going on this path and, and Lazarin starts going on this path, like, there's gonna be so, like, like, that brings good RP with it as well and good storylines of, like, you know, at some point, these motherfuckers need to get, you know, need to get humbled a bit and then... You yeah. I mean? like, yeah, exactly. It's also the, like, weirdly, this will be a, a quite a big bringing together moment for the group, but also, like, it, it not it can split the party, but very much it will be, like, people going to have to look inwards a bit and be like, holy fuck, look our, you know, as you say, look our morality, like, mortality. Yeah, look uh, that sort of like, morality, both, morality, for sure. Sort of looking like, is this really one, what we want to be doing? Like, and that's sort of like, what, where, thing I'm going to, the other thing thinking like with Davian's sort of quest for power as it were it's that sort of okay where do I go next where's the next beat where's the next like thing that I can get yeah and it's very much that okay have I sort of got everything I can out of this group or is there still more are we still I, lacking you know what I mean it's, well okay because that's just the same he's like have I got what I can get out of it because I've already I got to, a lot like, I need to really like bite my yeah. tongue because like yeah, next no, session is gonna be a fucking doozy for a lanzarin in particular let me tell you well on what you what, on what you just said quite of the whole like yeah. have i got everything i can out of this group yeah. part of the kind of yeah, issue with that having been brought back from the dead by a lanzarin is like am i only as strong as the people that i keep around me and these are the people that have propped me up through three tiers of kosuth and now literally being dead there's a, there's gonna be there's a little bit of internal conflict there because although Davian feels like a badass, like he would have died yeah. a month ago, right? Uh, I, the, the, but then also like I feel like there's gonna be some kind of there's a little bit of uh, maybe divergence like of morality where mm. I still I mean I I think Elazarin has already kind of been the heel for being a bit of a goody two shoes compared to everyone else, and he's not even that great a guy. But he's still just kind of the most uh, morally, like, obligated. And everyone else just kind of does what goes on their own gut feelings. Where I think, like, I think Davian's going to be leaning a little more to the opposite extreme of, like, maybe a little bit more chaotic or maybe a little bit more sort of ill will now. Because <clears throat> maybe life is only so short. Maybe he does need to get the most out of the fact that he can fucking shoot fire out of his hands now. Like, who, who fucking yeah. knows, you know? It's also like, we, we are a very neutral party, I think. Yeah. Obviously, we all hit certain beats. Like, Alanzan definitely hits the lawful neutral beat, if anything. That's like, that's his biggest sort of curve is into lawful neutral. Yeah. yeah. Because he is, you know, we, he, he looks at, he, we, we joke about bureaucracy but he does he is a very much a disbeliever of things are done in certain ways so you can get shit done better like you have to play the game and the game is politics yeah, yeah the like you I, have I, to I, play and Joaquin Qua Qua being a real lawful neutral like queen yeah. you know being yeah. like okay trade kind of a, an overwhelming capitalist evil really yeah. but yeah, yeah. I guess it does some good and it, you have to follow the laws if you want to make money mm -hmm. My, my biggest gripe with, with like, the taxes. whole, like, um, you know, the whole, what's it called? Oh, what, the, the neutral, the alignment to chart. Alignments, that's the word. Yeah. Uh, is that, if you look at it, there's like, oh, there's three in each thing that you can be, but I feel like there's more. Yeah. It, it's a spectrum, Definitely. right? And you have yeah, yeah, opposites, you like, have lawful, more like a graph. the other opposite, you have chaotic. Neutral, or like, like whatever the fuck. Yeah, it's like the, the, the political the compass. Yeah, there's, 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 yeah. there's, yeah. there's things Huge. between those three set in stone titles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I yeah. mean? And I mean, the, yeah, everyone, everyone knows alignment is kind of bunk, right? Yeah, and alignment should be reactive, not, you know, adaptive. Yeah, no, 100%. Uh, but like, I'm I'm excited to see where this is gonna go because you have a few days on the ship, you know, because you're traveling back to uh, to Eldalon. You have a few days to kind of let it all sink in. Um, I can't wait to see some villains. 
out of those people that we said we save and we're just gonna fucking abandon them. <laughs> huh? I know Sorry? we're not. There's people that are on the fucking beach oh. that we said, yeah, we'll take it. And we're just gonna be like, fuck and that. Like, you guys just leveled up. This is the end that you hit the end of a story arc. And you're just kinda you're gonna have a few sessions where you're kind of getting ready for the next one, you know? You have some downtime. There's not gonna be as much action on the ship as there was on the way there. Uh, it's gonna be very much more laid back, relaxed. Um you know, chill type of vibes. But you know, I just I just kinda to... Sorry? I, I was just I just came I know cause at third level I get my fucking boon or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Pack boon. Mm -hmm. Primordial, being able to speak primordial has to be one of them. I just, it just came to my mind out of nowhere. But yeah, yeah, it makes sense. Anyway, carry um, on. The, the, once you hit Eldilon, you know, you've had five days of respite. You've had some time to kind of relax. You know, you're going to deal with Kess. Kess needs to be uh, cured. Uh, that will probably be priority number one. If I were in your shoes, I think that's what would probably be, you know, we can't, we can't have Bell be here yep. and just. She might make Kess. a nice lawn ornament. Yep. Deal, deal Kess is a weird way to say throw her off the edge of the boat for the lols. <laughs> it's my, yeah, just, like now that I'm thinking about it, it's like... See you later. <laughs> I feel bad for Belle. I don't. Like, yeah, because she, she, she she's going to be here while Turn to Stone. Yeah. Fuck. Well, she I can mean, no, she can spend the time that she would spend doing DS uploading the last episodes. Uh, anyway, I'll have to talk to her about that actually before. Yeah. I mean, it'd be so, quite just, just kind of popped up in my head, like, yeah, well, like, should she be here? Because she's not going to do anything. Yeah. Um, uh, which sucks, but you know, is what it is. It's just kind of how the game. Th that's kind of how the game went. You know, it's, it's what it is. Um, <clears throat> but I think because of the way I've kind of designed the the, the quests and the the storytelling. Big ahead, Cass. Is um. <laughs> Uh, we could do that, I guess. Yeah. The thing is, I don't want to skimp out on the like. Sorry to to to, verify, to clarify. The, the beanie assumed that they would time ship a uh, time skip on the ship, and I'm like, uh, well, it's not going to be as hectic, but like, I want there to be time for people to like fucking RP and talk about that fucking shit that happened, which can easily just fill out an entire session. You know what I mean? Dude, so that's why I'm like. <laughs> but um. Avian is one HP. We'll see. Um, yeah, didn't get to didn't get to heal. Yeah, he well. revived and then we teleported, so yeah. he's uh. But like to... when yeah. the way I've designed and I've always designed this campaign is very much like a it's a it's a choose your own adventure, right? You have a bunch of quests mm -hmm. and you can decide whatever the fuck you want to do next. It doesn't really matter, and your decision on what you're gonna do in what order will determine some repercussions for waiting with some shit compared to other shit. But like, so you know you're gonna get to Eldilon. You know once you have the cast situation figured out, then then it's like okay now what? We can go join Celeste, do her little star chart thing. Oh, we can also do this thing that um, fucking, you know, we can find, try and find the cure for Kessa's fucking, like, like disease thing in her family. Oh, we could also just pick up on this other quest that we found. Uh, yeah, yeah, isn't there this whole, like, thing going on in the kingdoms where uh, Brooks is wanted for murder that he didn't commit? Like, there's all kinds of shit going on. Mm -hmm. And it's all up to you in what order you fucking do them. And no matter what place you go to, if you go to places you haven't been before, there's going to be some more, like, quests just kind of, like, chucked your way. Like, hey, add it to your journal. Smile. Keep a mental note of that. Um, we got a so I'm excited to see what you guys dog. decide on doing next. Um, but I'm also very excited for you guys to just... deal with the shit that you've been put through the last few sessions. The last session in particular, but just the last few, really. Uh, there's a lot of shit going on. Your, your party has a lot of things on the on the on the docket. Um, mm -hmm. and I can't fucking wait to see what you guys are starting doing. Uh, should we deal with some with some questions from from people Hell that yeah. watched real quick? Yeah. You know, yeah. we've been waffling for a little while. Let's uh, have some questions from all the uh, people from... who watch me watch me fucking die. Some questions from uh, old Chatter Geek. First one is for you, Duke. Uh, with Davian kicking the bucket and being brought back, do you think that will change Davian's view on life? Well, we already kind of brushed over this, but if you want to just reiterate. Oh, it's complex, isn't it? Yeah. Um. It is, yeah, it is complicated. Because, like, okay. 
No, no, he wasn't brought back from the brink. He died for real this time. But he was brought mm-hmm. back from the brink once before. Uh, and then he now he dies. I don't know, man. Like what? I feel like I feel like Dutch and I need to sit down maybe before next session just so that I get an idea of what the fuck death was like for a second, right? Oh yeah. Because if you, like if how? You wanna, if you want to do that, we can. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Because like, I mean, it's one of life's great questions, right? It's like what happens when you die? And Davian a... was dead for ten seconds, maybe. Yeah. Did he see Kosuth? Did he see? I I don't know who the fuck is a god of is Sylvanas a god of nature is that a thing one of one yeah. of the many ones yeah being a ranger like maybe like because it's a mother. great deity rather than like an elemental lord like what the fuck did he see in those ten seconds did his life flash before his eyes did he was it like the that like peace and tranquility of like drifting into the astral sea into nothingness forever because. What I imagine when I when I think of like death uh, in D anD D, I always look at first thing I look at uh, is, is is the character religious. In Davian's case, maybe not necessarily religious, but definitely has um, a bond with with you know Davian has a bond with nature and has this this bond with with Kasuth. So that's two things I think due to. Just first the thing is like I think due to the fact that it's only been like you know you you're only dead for like what two rounds, right? I guess 10, um, twelve seconds or whatever. Yeah, about ten, 10 seconds. Um, it could be two with. Close. I think due to you know you know the thing where it's like oh when you die you just kind of like see all of your fucking like your entire life gets played in front of you. Yeah, eyes, your life like, flashes fast before your eyes, whatever. I think. What Davian saw was like his connection to nature, his upbringing as a ranger, his his parents teaching him the ways, him exploring the land. So I think because this was the first time he died, and the 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 the, the fact that it was only a short death, I think I'd say he would probably see some kind of servant of some. He would have seen some kind of servant of some some like nature based deity to kind of reiterates that that has been the majority of his life has been in service of nature and, and, and animals and, and as a, a reality check that's a bit of a reality check uh due to that the might that, change things Gen- like, like be, genuinely that might change things like, going forward. Be real yes he has this bond with kasuth but like how old is Davian? 20s right can tell you exactly so he ha- he's had this bond with this real bond with kasuth for like maybe a month if that yeah. Whereas yeah. he's been a servant of not a servant is a big word, but like he has been a ranger and very in touch with nature and and, and animals, both both plants and animals. Like Davian, homie loves sleeping in the wild, looking at the stars. You know what I mean? Like he is very much a nature based uh, uh, being. Yeah. For the majority of his life, so I think. I think for now, the the, the the vision he would have seen while dying slash when dead would have been more in that vein compared to the Kasuth side of things. He will definitely... Kasuth is going to reach out, don't worry. Like, he, you know... But I think at the moment of his death, the visions would have would have definitely weighed towards nature. Yeah, over... that's, that's like... <clears throat> that's it's kind of a game changer. Like, for his outlook in general, that's kind of a game changer. Because when I, like, I, I, out of character, was like, if I die, die, mm-hmm. is is there going to be some, like, whoa, the the tears of Kosuth go whoosh, and, like, it, it, I don't know, I, I get life, but then, like, the fucking amulet becomes useless or some shit, or, like, something's going to happen to do with Kosuth or, or something, like, the whole time, even out of character, like, that's what I thought would happen. Okay. And well, I think Davian in character... Like, like th- the thing is, like, would Davian have been dead for longer? That would have been some Kasuth stuff, but because it was such a short... Yeah, uh, right. Well, it, like, well say, I mean... Say I mean, the moment comes where Davian dies and, like, longer than what Revivify can be done within, like, a minute? Minute. Uh, a right. Minute. Yeah. If it surpasses the Revivify time limit and you actually have to, like, find some insane resurrection spells, um, that's when there's probably going to be, like, this scene of, like, you know, Davian walks down this path and, you know, there's a a pathway to the left and a path to the right, and one is all about nature, and one is all like this fiery, 
thing. Well, I mean, the, you know what I mean? You like, know, <clears throat> I, like, I guess for now, that's that's out of the question, just because yeah. whatever, like, whatever confidence or um, hubris that Davian had is like, got a fucking, I got a fucking elemental order on my side, dude, fuck him. <laughs> and then he dies. And there's just no Kasu to be seen. And now he's alive again. That is a big deal. Okay. Yeah, I, that's a pretty I'm big just... deal. And Kasu's going to show up. But I think I think that might impact his um, reverence for Do Kasuyu. I also a think because I, I I think uh, I think that in Davian's mind might be a little bit of an a, a sort of exposed Kasuyu has not got yeah, his no, back. You know what I think that that's gonna do? It's gonna really nail home for Davian that this is not a mutually. Equal yeah, relationship. like respectful. Is, yeah, not, yeah. You're not a cleric. You're a fucking. You're a warlock. You are. Well, I mean, you are. You, no, but like warlocks, there is some form of like back and forth. But Kosuth chose you because he needs you to do something. It's not like Lazarus and Joaquin, where it's very much like a religion. You grew up as a cleric. You believe there's faith. No, this is this this is a warlock patron. This is something different. This he's not a god, and he will not treat you as this like. Yeah, it's you know uh, I mean? very much <clears throat> um, transactional rather than yes, yeah, that's a good way rather than mutually yeah. beneficial. Like, yeah. which is and, hilarious, yeah. by the way, because Lazarin's connection to Joaquin is very transactional as well. Yeah, but, but that's under the, of the guise fact of that it's religion, the, the goddess of fucking trade and money. Yeah, you know no, but I mean? you know, what I mean, it's it's very like it's just a, <laughs> a funny sort of thing to be like. We yeah, but I, I think we've had moments even that we were like, yeah. wow, Elaz is more of a warlock than a cleric. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, yeah. But it's just, you know, he that's how he has his powers. It's just, that's something I'm really forward to looking into eventually. Like, yeah, but now you, now, 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 especially after this, despite yeah. all of the like, where you never talk to you, where, where yeah. you, where if you fucking die, yeah, you know, Joaquin's gonna be there. Well, there, there is no one else. Like that is the that is the afterlife that awaits Lazarin. Oh, dude, is Beanie, like Beanie just like mm -hmm. his diamond for Vivify is just his way of paying Joaquin to bring you back. <laughs> I know it is. I was very tempted to have something a diamond like that. worth three hundred gold, Joaquin, that I bought fairly. Can you please bring him back? <laughs> Here's the receipt. I got the receipt. <laughs> Refund, please. Oh, he pulls I out a scale. He pulls like, out a scale, like yeah. puts it down, like puts the diamond in it, like would, start, starts weighing like, it Elazarin's out. Like, I would like to exchange like, cler one. Elazarin's clergy is literally pay to win. Yes, it's yeah. literal pay to win. Oh my god! It is literally just like, excuse me, I like to do an exchange. This is broken. I have a diamond. <laughs> Gib. <laughs> I, I believe he's still under warranty. Yeah, he's under warranty. <laughs> I can extend it one. Fuck, dude, that's, that's, not going that's yet. fucking funny, dude. God damn it. But yeah, like, yeah, <sighs> I, okay. Davian's Davian's life view going forward, it might it might be a little it might be a little different than I initially thought. Just on on the basis that like, man died, didn't see a flicker, an ember of because uh, we like, kind of ended it at the ship. Like next time you yeah. guys sleep is when you all level up, and that's when that's when the people that yeah. need a bit of a, a sit down. And, uh, and a vision quest of some sorts during their sleep will we'll get it. But I just didn't have time to fit it in. And I was like, yeah, we'll, we'll do that next time I level up. We'll, yeah. we'll deal with that then. But uh, yeah, there's, there's a couple of people that, uh, you know, a couple of people being literally you two that are going to have to have some spicy dreams next time they go to bed. And uh, Well, that <laughs> means, see, <laughs> that justifies... Wait, what, are we fifth level now? I'm about to get to sixth. You're, you're sixth. looking up to six. Yeah. And I'm going to be four and two? Yeah. Yeah. I thought fourth level ranger was extra attack. Is that th no, that's fifth? No, extra attack is five. Okay. And then s <clears throat> now, now I can't remember the optional class features. Maybe at also at fifth level I get the move speed boost. Uh, that's the cauldron. Uh, uh, roving, whatever fifth, it is. If not fifth, it'd probably be sixth. Yeah, I like. You get a lot of fifth. Like that's when I get third level spells and Hold shit. On. That's when um, you get. Um, you get. Uh, sixth level is roving. Sixth level is roving. Yeah. Means I get climbing speed and swimming speed of thirty-five feet, which is pretty cool. 
Does your walking speed also go up, or does it stay? Thin? Yeah, regular okay. speed goes up five feet, and then oh, climbing okay. and swimming match my walking speed, good. which is dope. That's awesome. Uh, yeah. So yeah, I mean, you get my Eldritch invocation. You, you were gonna go. Well, it's cause, well no, no, no. Because right? now, now, no. Think about this, right? Mm -hmm. We don't level up until after we sleep. True. In my sleep, I'm going to see Kosuth. Then I'm going to level up. I'm going to get Eldritch Invocations. And I'm... Like, Davi's fully going to believe that that's like a fucking apology. Not a gift. I'll say... Of like, oh, I'll sorry, say, I wasn't there, I'll bro. Say, I'll like, say wait until... Because I already know exactly what I'm going to put in front of Davian. Just, yeah. just wait until that happens. Uh, I'm just... I, I'm you know just... Fucking funny. This is the bokeh flowers you get after you piss off the like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, sorry, babe. Hey, man. Um, <laughs> sorry, I couldn't be there when you died. But now, here you go. It's really cute that you think he's gonna apologize. You can see in the dark. Cool. <laughs> it's very cute that you think <laughs> he's gonna apologize for anything. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> I mean, if he's gonna be like, you almost fucking ruined this for both of us, idiot. Then um. Blow it. <laughs> oh, dude. I mean, if if we can fuck up his Tisha. <laughs> Can't see if I have another thing coming, bro. Uh, oh, are we just gonna like? And that's also a thing like that got that got like exposed. Is that like the Elemental, elemental Lords are all like, you know, Tisha's being a bit of a dick, and now it turns out that Tisha has been like in bed with Umberly for a while. Yeah. yeah. That's gonna bring some like uh, spoiler alert. Maybe this is not the this is not the last you've seen of Umberly. Umberly is maybe, here to stay. Maybe like, Istisha was a good guy all along and Umberly's just corrupted him. Aw. <laughs> we'll get this divorce going, baby. Get the no, papers. Umberly's a dickhead. Yeah, exactly. Um, what about Istisha? That's what, was, well, that's that's what, what we're saying. saying. Oh, that's, that's what we're saying. saying. Istisha's a dickhead. Uh, Istisha's a dickhead. Yeah. He's a dickhead. But, but um, yeah. now, now, just like, hypothetically, okay, mm -hmm. Davian might end up going, like, spoiled child and i mean you know it, it'll be it'll be years i mean real life years but if we do end up like removing istisha and we still have fucking ruzmu the fair and fucking dashu on our side if kasuth's being a bit of a bitch dude like he's next like i'm like we still haven't even met the rock guy, and this man's about to. I'll turn those him. few levels of warlock into druid, bro. Like, well, just just you wait. Wildfire druid. Yeah. Wouldn't that be fucking cool? What a fucking glow up that would be. Fucking we'll the how pendulum goes, swings, guys. bro. Chaotic neutral, and I'm like, and then Kasuth on, and then whoa, now I'm fucking. <laughs> Lawful good druid ranger multi class. You'll never see it coming. Well, I mean, we'll see how it goes, man. We have we got plenty of time to, to to get there, so we'll see. Next question. Yeah, fucking hell. Uh, for Koiba, how does Lazarin feel about having to bring back a party member from death? Was he relieved he was prepared and got it done, or maybe even slightly like feels guilty for not being able to keep the people around him alive? Oh. It's, a, it's a it's a real sort of big one because like. <laughs> His feelings on reviving is, you know, we is something I sort of intentionally did when I hit third level was go to Father Aku and say, Hey, I've seen people do this. I Teach feel me. stronger. Can I do it? Do you think I've got that capability? It was something that I Yeah, it's a bit of a meta game to be like, Oh, I know why I have a revive, but I always feel like when it comes to these spells, there has to be a reason that we know these, right? Like, other than be like especially with a lantern doesn't have this can talk to their god like doesn't talk to their god it, when you have that then yeah you can get away with being like hey i gave you some powers d d save your friends right or whatever mm -hmm. this is very much a i woke up one day and suddenly i can feel like i can do some of these spells that i've seen or i can suddenly do some more things and no it's literally for a lazarin because he's yeah. in. it's literally you're leveling up the battle pass yeah yeah, exactly. Exactly. It's leveling up the indie battle pass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. The 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 Twilight Domain. Um, <laughs> it's Twilight Domain season. So it's... yeah, season season two is uh, Twilight Domain season. Twilight, 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 yeah. Um, level ten, you get a cool but... skin. <laughs> oh, epic. <laughs> <laughs> um, because of that, like reviving a, a party member, I think 
no matter what for him, it's going to fuck him up a little bit. It just will. He... But also, he knows it's just part of it. He's had to deal with a lot of death and decay in general. Guilty about the pilot member even dying in the first place? A bit? He's so, It's less... He feels guilty because someone's died on like his watch, but more like... How could we have done this differently to have even avoided this out? You know, it's more like... Okay, yeah, I didn't heal him. Or, yeah, I didn't do as much healing, but like... You know, this is always still gonna gonna happen. With us, Elijah is quite big on destiny. He is quite a big believer of things happen when they're supposed to happen. You know what I'm he's like, for? okay, yeah. Because Elijah, Elijah is very like, you know, dude. When more about Elijah's, like, because there's this like game theory, right? That like so Elijah's family is connected to Earth. Yeah. Uh, yes. Elemental Lord, I forget his name at the top of my head. Yeah, but, um, the the rock one. <laughs> yeah. So like, I'm just I'm I'm so excited to get into that shit, bro. Because like like I said, the main the, we've we've kind of established that the overlying story arc is this whole the override and the night webs trying to you know and the the whole reason this 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 continent got exposed to the world is because after Orcus got defeated, um something happened and the elemental being. That the elemental god protecting, shrouding the island in just this swirl of storms and, 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 and mist stopped doing it, disappeared. And now it turns out there's this fucking Illuminati order trying to, like, control the elements with the override and whatever the fuck. Like, that's... that the, coincidence mm. you know what i mean yeah. so like and the fact that you know we have a party that are all you know we have that davian is is the link to the elemental plane of fire right now uh <laughs> we'll see if that lasts but right now um based on what duke has been saying <laughs> but like right now we have obviously we have kes who is completely tied into the elemental plane of air we have Davian's family that is somewhat connected to, uh, supposedly somewhat connected to the elemental plane of Earth. And then there is the elemental plane of water, you know, in the form of Asisha, who is definitely the, the bad guy here, as, f as far as you guys can see right now. But then, like, who, I'm, I'm excited for you guys to kind of like, and, 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 and Elazarin to kind of like figure out his like ties to it all. And also the fact that like, what what or who was this being that was protecting this land? Is is, is there a fifth element? Is was were they part of another one of the elements? You know what I mean? Like there, there's so much like just lore and 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 world building and 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 shit that is gonna be coming up. You're basically gonna like solve this mystery of like how does how does this continent exist and why, how does it function and why is this so like heavily tied to? I mean, to it's the like elements, it, it you know seems I mean? like the fucking the cradle of. Mm whatever world we're on on this material plane, you know what I mean? Like the... Yeah. It is also like this, so that like vision that Lazarus got will reviving is in Alazan's head, he's got a lot of things he wants to think of because obviously he is the type of person this is right now, this is the thoughts we've not had this, this session where stuff might, might happen, might find more, but he's very much a case of, okay, this initial thought is okay so that happened when i revive someone is that gonna happen every time do i now need to go out and maybe help out at like a clergy reviving people to get more of this or is was it a pressure thing and about in portugal do i need someone else do i need to make now in the next big fight we have do i need to also make a circumstance where i can revive someone where i can then look at this again you know he's very much that person that i want to find out more how can I do it in such a way that is, like, the safest way possible? But also, he knows, like, was it because it was something close to him? Was it that pressure? Was it because it's the first time doing it? Was it because of this? He very much is, like, super just, like, okay, where can I get, where can I find out more? Because there is information here that I'm not being told. I've got a secret that apparently everyone, like, not everyone knows, but, like, people who he knows no aren't telling him and they know like they know he knows and he's just there like just tell me it then and like now nah, we'll tell you later hey, what, like, is no. this, what is this about the whole this is the rock vision oh right, that he right, got right, right. when i re when i revived 
Mm-hmm. Rock vision, rock vision. Yeah, he very much is just like, how do I see this again? How can I concentrate on... Now I know it's going to happen. If it does happen again, what can I now concentrate on instead of that bit? Can I try and hit one of those flashes and see? That's his That's his thought process. Is that is this happening every time or just when there's pressure? And he super wants to get into him. He's also like fucking terrified of this fact. I'm very stoked to yeah to get to the point where the party starts connecting the dots because there's a few theories yeah. out there of like oh but like what does because Diagon has this whole like thing of like this this place that kind of seems yeah. very vaguely like oh yeah there's, there's there's all kind all the elements are kind of present there and then Brooks has to be in, in, involved in this as well somehow this isn't I'm I'm excited to get to the point and this is going to be fucking years from now Right, if the campaign is going the way it is, oh, yeah. before you finally like unlock the scope, and you're gonna look back, you know, two years into the campaign, you're gonna look back and be like, "Huh? See, now that we know this, those things that happened on the way do kind of make sense, and they add up." And I, not to toot my own horn here, right? I, I I'm a very uh, insecure DM most of the time. But comparing my like overall story arc writing to this campaign to last campaign, I made this one like main plot. I made this one so much more convoluted and complex and 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 like layered than the last one. And I'm just so fucking excited about you guys finally being me not having to like bite my tongue and hold back and actually talk about these things with you guys because there's a fucking lot to talk about that i cannot say because oh, yeah. that would just spoil the campaign for you know what i mean like ugh, ugh, <laughs> you know god frick man anyway god damn for Dutch, did the fight go as you thought it would go uh did you have to tweak things mid-fight to give a chance of survival uh, i didn't tweak shit mid-fight I was just like, this is evidently there. because someone died. I didn't tweak shit. So. I this is how I intended the fight to go, and there was always options. But when things started to go bad, I was like, mm. they made this bed um, by some questionable decisions and shitty dice rolls. Sometimes that's the way it goes. I did not tweak anything. I love, I love the difference between when like Duke's character gets killed. Dutch is like, pin point punch, just gonna fucking do it. Anyone else's character gets killed, he's like, well, I felt bad in the moment, but it does no, make no, sense. No, 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 I, I don't want to kill anyone. I don't want to kill anyone, but also, <laughs> I know. like, as a funny. DM, like, death creates, death creates stories, man, in D&D. Death creates insane, insanely Definitely. good character development and roleplay. I mean, look at fucking, like, when, like Tremaris for us in campaign one, that was a whole yeah, good arc. Yeah, completely was... spiraled, your, or, like, steered your party in a different fucking way. Mm. Yeah, like, like, do I feel bad for killing Davian? Yes, but also no. You know what I mean? Also, what fucked me up is right. This is this is a gripe. Oh, <laughs> By gripe, I mean it fucked me up. The fucking role I had to do, right? Mm-hmm. Did not think that was gonna be the role for the chat for like the revive. I thought that was gonna be to make the DC higher or lower. And then suddenly you're like, well, "That's the DC you need." I was like, "What?" <laughs> I thought. Wait, what are you talking about? Really... What do you mean? Sorry. So as I when I revivified. Mm-hmm. You made me roll a religion check. Like you asked, how yeah. was I doing it? You made me yeah, roll a religion, yeah, yeah. religion check, and then that was the basis on the success or fail. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, I thought this was gonna make if I failed that D- that original DC it would have made the next check I did based on like my wisdom modifier oh, no, no, no. or something being like higher my, or lower. Like the way we've done, and then I was like, the, the, like resurrections <laughs> in this game in the campaign that I run has always been like, if a character has zero deaths, I'll determine how they plan on resurrecting you, like where do they draw the power from, decide on a check based on that, but if they have zero deaths, the character is a DC 10 to bring back. And with oh, every I, death, I know, I know death how that increases. DC, now the, um, the, the, the the It's like the, it's DC, a Matt Mercer, it's like it's the Matt Mercer. Like, yeah, like, I think, things. well, it's because I've recently watched some, some, some TV stuff, but they had it mm-hmm. like, hey, there was this check, and then for every fail or success, it was made it the DC change, and then it was like, okay, mm-hmm. because that's for a bigger ritual, and I was just like, so when I rolled it, I was just like, cool, great, well, that's a five. Also a thing. Like, yeah, yeah. It was a small is, is a quick check, but if you're going to yeah, exactly. go like the resurrection ritual route, yeah, of yeah, course, there's like, going to be more, more layers oh, to um, it. Um, what's it called? But you know what I mean? I was just there like, oh, whatever, roll it. This would be fine. Didn't really think about it. So five, I was like, oh, okay, ten, whatever. And you're like, that's just what you need. It's like, 
oh, there was a lot more riding on this roll than I thought. Like, there was that sudden, like, I rolled this super nonchalantly, like, whatever, I'll get another roll in a second to be my wisdom score, and it'll be, like, plus eight, I'll be fine, not this, like, plus five of my religion or whatever I've got currently. And then it was just like, oh, yeah, that was DC. I'm like, yeah. Fuck, I gotta think of these things now. Like, properly think about, am I gonna be using religion every time, or do I have to be like, actually, I'm kind of better at medicine? <laughs> and should I be patching people up instead of being like, Joaquin please? Aren't they both wisdom based, though? Nope. No, I think religion's, religion's intelligence. intelligence based. Religion's intelligence? That's For crazy. fucking no reason. That doesn't make sense to me at all. It makes perfect oh. sense in the sense of like, I guess you have really to have been taught but... the like teachings, I guess. Yeah, sure, yeah it's like... a, it, but it it's, a, a, it's a, the rest of the game where encyclopedic like... knowledge of religions as a whole and yeah. what they mean and what they do and yeah, their rituals yeah. rather but than it just like makes your zero fucking fate. sense compared when I, to like when I think of like a very religious Wisdom person, Custer. I think of them as wise, not smart. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's that. Enough. I mean, it, you know, as I say, it's the game, so... I guess, man. Wisdom caster, but the main thing of religion, intelligence based. It's like, oh, yeah, that's even. I'm sure there's some edition of D and D that has like the other way around. Faith as a stat. Yeah, probably. Because wisdom uh, and intelligence don't really pertain to that. Not a question from Shadow. Mostly use wisdom. Yeah, point. I don't know, I, dude. Like, I, I get it, but I'm also like, I, I agree, but I also disagree at the same time. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, yeah, yeah I, I get that. I've definitely played a game where faith is a stat, right? No. I don't remember what. Yeah, isn't it? Um, no, not Divinity. The other one, fucking. Um, fuck. Pillars of Eternity, maybe. I think oh, so. I think pillars. Yeah, it's pillars. Faith. Because I think it gives you like resistance to certain damage. Necrotic, probably. Uh. Definitely. I don't know what I'm thinking of. I don't think fuck. it's pillars. No, it's not. Oh, it's fucking Dark Souls, bro. Oh yeah, yeah, Dark yeah, yeah. Fucking Souls, Elden Ring, oh they have faith as a, as a, as yeah. a stat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> uh, the final question from OSG is, uh, how did you guys all, how did you guys feel after the session? Pain. Uh, I was tired. Like, shit, yeah. sessions like that, fucking, pff, you know, I'm boofed. Yeah, fuck. tired, like... Drained. I don't know, yeah. I, f I know, but it what, what, weird I didn't have the most visceral reaction to dying. I don't <laughs> know if that's just because in my mind I was like, I'll be okay. Because I know, like, the whole time Koi was saying, like, he's saving spell slats, spell slats, spell slots. Okay. And I still had this inkling that, like, yeah, if shit got out of hand, then, you know, maybe I'd have some weird revelation with Kostuth. I wasn't too convinced that I would be dead, dead, dead. Um, I mean, if you filled the check, you would have been. <laughs> But, but like I said, oh, I like could, I could do it again. I'd one more. Onu, <laughs> Onu's death. I don't know why, but Onu's death just like hit me harder than actually dying. I mean, even dying though his death is always than way temporary. Movie. It's the way it works, man. True. Yeah, it just felt really unfair. You know, it's like, what did he do? He was there. <laughs> he was just there. Right. Yeah, it's exactly the same as when you got hit with the fireball. Evil. You're fighting a fucking chaotic evil deity, so fuck you for existing, bitch. Yeah, he got hit with that fireball and died against in in a boss fight yeah. ages ago, and I was like, what the fuck? He didn't even do anything, man. He just stood near me. Yeah, I mean, yeah. That's enough for me, boys. Vote him out, you know? <laughs> it's, it's <laughs> literally, it really is that. Get him out of here. Yeah, for me, I just, like, I'm always tired after D&D &D because, like, DMing takes it out of me. It always does. But, like, mm -hmm. sessions like that, bro, I'm just, I'm just like... Because <sighs> combat, yeah, it's combat, tough. For, combat for a player, relatively simple. Combat for a DM, I need to, I need to control a million people. I need to keep track of initiative. I need to... Like, it's... Bro, it's the, fucking... The it's way that dude. that combat went... Yeah, yeah, like it was it was chaotic. Well. It was stressful. Like there was, I was a map mad. And I still didn't know what the fuck's going on because of the yeah. invisibility and the cloud and we so overall Jesus. overall that whole like combat right. So that whole from when we entered that room of that session, like <laughs> we started off really fucking well. Yeah, you did. Like get yeah. rid of those ads. We got rid of those ads fucking quick. Yeah, the ten SWAT so Wigan that were there, they were dead after like two they, rounds. They were they were, they were gone. We had some good damage output. We hadn't taken loads of damage. We've taken quite a bit. Like we, we'd taken a beating, right? But we weren't... You know, we weren't on death's door. We were pretty manageable. And then, just like, a couple of bad rolls just before the end of that fight. You know, that first sort of phase. 
And I started rolling. Couple good rolls as well. Your your couple of, couple of crits come out suddenly. And like Belfield, both of, Bell, Belfield, both of her saves for the petrification, yeah. which just took her out yeah. of the fight before uh, Bitch Queen even showed up, right? Like, like she beca she became a statue because of Evandur. Like she be she was out of the fight before Bitch Queen even showed up. So yeah. But yeah, it it, it that was a. It was a, it was a chaotic, frustrating, tiring session. But really fucking good at the same time. You know what I mean? Like it's so, and that's what D and D does to me. A lot is like, yeah, I mean, I like, feel like annoyed, perturbed, sad, but also like, dude, this is pog. You know what I mean? Like, well, like you said, some somehow, like, we kind of got the best possible outcome for story building story from that right point, yeah yeah well, everyone's maybe not alive the best but definitely one of the better ones yeah like i don't know there's probably a way where this could have gone even crazier for like the the, the storytelling but like this is pretty fucking know. good i don't know yeah i don't know because like character dies that really affects the health of the campaign because you like you don't want the player to leave so the player's gonna make a new character and then you gotta find a way to squeeze that back yeah. in or yeah, no one dies. It's like, that's not super interesting. No. So, you know, to have one, like you said, one person petrified, one person died, brought back to life like that. That's pretty good. That's pretty ideal. You know, like interesting threads and yeah. And, yeah, and two like people, two people run away, uh, probably disgruntled the rest of the party a little bit as well. Like there's going to be some talks and about that. When, you know, Koiba or you know, Koiba and I were, you know, Section Zero buddies. Yeah, so, you were. Like true, Davian and Lazarin already, already like they've got sort of the 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 history, and also like the most spiritually convoluted characters other than Kess. Mm -hmm. But like, that's a heck of a character to die and bring back to life when he's kind of. Well, he's got a fucking patron, and also, like, yeah, you know, like, yeah, it's pretty, yeah, looking forward, excited. That session, oh, they really ran away, man. Oh, this brings me to the next question, a question submitted by Laura. Whose, if anyone's, actions or choices during the fight surprised you the most? And what was your favorite part of the session? Corby, you go. Oh, who surprised, see, like, surprised I didn't have anything other than, like, I don't know, there was nothing that really, like... Your own? I wasn't surprised, like, I saw that coming. <laughs> you know what I, mean? like... <laughs> I foresaw me being an idiot, thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I I, I... I always do something fucking stupid in combat. I always, I, it's the problem with having so many You forget spells. you have something pog, or you fuck up something that... You fuck up something yeah. the other... Yeah, yeah. or it's just, yeah. you're just there, like, you waste a spell slot on something super inane that you're like, this would be pog if it comes off. Doesn't come off. Wasted that spell slot. I could have used that to heal. Like that's that's the regret as the cleric. It's very much like I'll use blindness at second level. Could have used the second level cure wounds. Yeah. You know what I mean? And like that can save someone super hard, no especially if it doesn't come off. So you're just there, like or like is immune to it, or you know legendary resistance, which I knew. You know we were so probably playing with, and that's what she put me off of it so long. But no one did anything that made her have to roll saving throws. She just I think use them. the reason, like weirdly. In my brain, at least, is like I'm thinking, okay, everything I want to use, I need the ledge resistance to be used, right? Like I need those gone. I don't have anything that's small that can like just pluck at them. Mm -hmm. So if I do this, great. Oh, it resisted it. I've wasted that. You know, it's very much the new solver thing that maybe it didn't resist three. I was maybe thinking two was what I had in my brain of like. Maybe Dutch has put it down a little bit and not done three and has done like two. Fuck no, motherfucker. Um, fighting a god. I think the. Oh, we're fighting the avatar, avatar of, of a god. temporary yeah. avatar of a god. Yeah. I think Brooks's. Oh, see, Brooks's fog gets a lot of black. I can see why it happens. I can get it. What I hate is that it wasn't something he could like get rid of. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's very much a like, yeah. hey, this is here. And it's like. Fucking out, like you know, Why? it's a lot of spells where you could put it out and then be like, "Oh, this hasn't worked." <sighs> whatever, mm -hmm. you know, with the invisibility, you can just attack or whatever, or, like cast a spell to try and resolve the situation. Hard to do when you're unconscious. Hello, I'll say it can't attack to break invisibility and, when you're dead. <laughs> yeah, up and up and down as I was um, unconscious. I think, I know. I think overall there wasn't any decision that 
shock to me in the sense of like or surprise me in the sense of like what the fuck are you doing? I think what he did next will shock you. I was more in shock that we got such a good result despite everything that happened. Mm. Fair, yeah, fair. You know, like like that could have been so much worse. Like, I... well, no, because last one was team run. Sorry, Ethan, Ethan said like a, yeah. And that's what surprised that Brooks and Dygan ran, but Lazarus was team run, so he was expecting people to run. And then when I mean, I think this is like, like okay, what surprised us anyway? Like yeah. not not necessarily characters. Yeah, because mm -hmm. yeah. like there's a few there was a few surprise moments for me. Hmm. I the the invisi invisibility surprised me more than the fog cloud. <laughs> The 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 real shocking thing was that Lazarin to have the audacity to turn around invisible and then fall unconscious while invisible. Yeah. And so every round and we know he's like floating he there, the and Dutch is just like concentration because it was an item. Yeah. Just it didn't drop it. You know, he's fucked. And he's just unconscious. Uh, can, no one can see him floating in the water, rolling death saves, and no one can do anything about uh, if it. If I died, if I died, then I'd have felt. Like such self-loathing of like <laughs> I would have, I would have hit the depression button hard on like, that like not not for like ever but you like you like, wouldn't have been exposed for like what ten minutes how long does that shit last uh, two minutes oh two okay. minutes not too I thought it broke if you died or is it is it no the it power broke really when, when I it. when I did spells or when I attacked that's fucked that's dude when it breaks. you really would have just been dead we would have been like gas. we easily would have been like yeah. where's Lazarin oh he must have made it out. Yeah. And then we would have just left, and, and he would have just been there. Could have cast, and he'd be like, "Oh, he'll he'll cast sending to us in tomorrow or something." Yeah, like right. Yeah, right. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. And um, Quibble, so so next that as a new character, and you're like, "Wait." That was something. <laughs> that really was something. Like, just fucking poof, and then get shit on while I think, invisible. I think if I didn't get shit on, it would have been a lot better. But I got yeah, fucked. maybe yeah, I got no, fucked, <laughs> but um, <laughs> instantly. Favorite moment was going out with a bang, dude. Like I fucking smashed that. I, I I could taste the blood in the water, dude. I went after it, and uh, I did some fucking damage before I got killed. Yeah, you did. So yeah, that's uh, that, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll take it. We'll take the good with the bad. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, no, Pumped no. some damage. Got fucking murdered. Worth it. Fair. Um. I think my favorite part of the session is probably the way the results, the results in uh, because of the the the, the RP and character and progression uh, that we'll get from what happened. Um, I'm excited for next session. Next session is going to be great because there's going to be a lot of like talks about what happened. People are going to start to feel the the like the aftermath of what happened. Um, Celestia's gonna have some shit to say as well. She got like this is the most danger she's ever been in. She went down twice, but like, like, the, oh, dude, it's, it's gonna be a good one. I it's mean, and that's such as well. Like, a lantern went down two or three times, which is super fucking leading into what he thinks anyway. Of like, fucking hell, I am so vulnerable and so like. Like, Elasian's grasp of mortality is very much a, like, fuck me, I can die any second. Like, there is going to be a time where I won't be able to get back up. And now, that is just hit him hard, but then he's also on the flip side being like, hey, I'm pretty good at getting people back to life. I'm pretty, like, people are going to protect me now because they've seen that I can, like, you know, maybe I... He's, he's weirdly feels super, like, hey... I can be protected and I can maybe be a bit more, you know, get away with a bit more. But also he's super, like, fragile. Like, he wants to be wrapped up super bad. And it's just like, anybody wants to be wrapped up. Well, it's, 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 he literally yeah, thinks he, any moment could be his last. He's <laughs> like, a high value target, you know? Yeah. And he's just like, cool, we got some stuff to deal with. Let's just, yep. <laughs> like, the thing with Lazarus as well is like, he doesn't hide the fact that he's one of the most valuable people in a combat situation due to his insane healing outputs and HP outputs. Which is just like... People with an intelligence over 11 will be like, oh, that guy should probably go. 
because of the fact that it, he doesn't he's not he doesn't hide it at all. He doesn't no. hide the fact that he's gonna pump fucking heels. He's not he's not gonna hide the fact that he has a big fuck off twenty foot radius or whatever the fuck stump some stupid thirty, it's 30 foot it's radius 30 dome radius. that he can Huge. shit out on himself, mm -hmm. giving people like a max of 10, 10 HP around. Like more bro, than that. Is right. it one ten? Is it twelve? It, it's now twelve. It's fuck all. Yeah. No. No, so no, Actually, sorry, maybe it's level, level plus D6. It's level plus, oh. no, it's level plus D6. So, uh, yeah, so 12, right? Yeah, 12. Max, yeah. So it was 11. Was the... Yes, it was 11. Fucking and, hell. like... But means the minimum I can now give is 6. Dude, I mean, he's, yeah, he's a, real, he's a real fucking problem, dude. Like, yeah. Yeah. dome, spiritual weapon, no concentration. Uh, so he's... he's. I can then everyone's do, Everyone's like, getting hit health, everyone's get, taking damage. Different auras mm. as well. I can... Yeah. I mean... I can take stuff as like, uh, what the fuck is it called? Oh, it's got a stupid, whatever. The one that basically gives you all advanced of wisdom save throws, and any healing that you do will always be max. Mm -hmm. Oh, the beacon of hope. Beacon of hope. I can cast beacon of hope. I can cast uh, like aura of uh, yeah, like, vitality. I, I wouldn't cast, say like, like not as busted as a fucking you know fucking ash in campaign one. Yeah, but like yeah, no, the, he's, he's not like a cleric crazy is a fucking problem. But like. Mm -hmm. Same I did with fucking like yeah. Soko's like character there was was more of an RP thing because like he yeah. just he got the chance to yeah. pipe down he didn't so he got fucking shanks or whatever, um, but in the like Koiba you're gonna feel it man. Yeah. Whenever you fight like, characters that don't don't have shit for brains, they'll target the fuck out of Elijah. Well, what's even great about that is when the rolls of dice that are kind of like game me game mechanic rolls over like just mm -hmm. whatever fits so well into the narrative because i have rolled shit hp i have rolled below average right yeah. my average roll is four yeah. right only in this last one where yeah, i rolled, like rolled five or whatever i, did. On your fucking I rolled HP. ass and it fits so well that lazarin is super fucking fragile he <laughs> is just like it works so well i just want and three ugh Oh, and the fact sucks. that, like, that's mixed in. And then I'm going to be targeted. It just fits into Lazarus' mindset so well. Like, it's just one of those things where, like, I could have easy rolled 7, 8, 6, 7, you know. And I'd be alive a lot more, probably. And I'd be able to hit a bit more. I could have F I have access to heavy armor, technically. I could have, like, an AC. I could easily do a brand and have, like, an AC of 22. Shield of you know whatever, never be hit. Have they got the super high wisdom? So like my save scores are super high on a lot of things, right? But the Lazarin is a fucking coward, and he doesn't want to look. He doesn't want to look like he's this super like important bit. But then he puts out a fucking dome. <laughs> and it's just like he still wants to be yeah, important. He's gonna be thrown out the dome, sprouting fucking wings. Like yeah, yeah because true. because as well, well the dome, thirty foot fucking the... radius dome. He's gonna be flying thirty foot in the air. Yeah, it's so a good luck also, targeting him. Also the dome. The amount of ranged enemies you're going to face yeah. suddenly... I know. <laughs> the, the, <laughs> fucking the dome... So it has to be dim light, right? For this thing. The dome makes it dim light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I exactly. will always so go to you, fly you always in the fly. dome. The dome doesn't move with you, though, right? No, it, it does. It does. It fully moves with it's me. It's centered on him at, at all times. And moves with me. It's, like it's yeah, just, let's it's, move it, people! It's, yeah. it's, it's ridiculous. It's fucking It's ridiculous. Lucio time, baby! Yeah! <laughs> let's go! Let's go! Yeah. It's nutty. It's fucking nutty. Feel the healing beat. Literally. Well, the f I can... So my flight only lasts a minute, right? I can only fly for a minute. <laughs> well, yeah, but like, if you do that in combat, that's oh, 10, 10 turns. That's 10 yeah. turns. It's 10 turns. That is a combat. Have we ever had a fight that went past 10 turns? I don't think so. Other than... Maybe mm, like end of campaign. Yeah, maybe the August fight. That's about it. You know what I mean? And like, fucking maybe, hell. Like, would you count it as one fight? We set an initiative for like a dungeon crawl. You know, like that was technically more than ten turns as we're doing. Like, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. But again, was that one combat though, or was that multiple combats that we just stayed in initiative for? Yeah, true. You know? Like, but yeah, like fuck me, dude. This ne this next session I'm excited for because it's going to be a lot of fucking talking about shit that happened. I'm excited to see what, like, storyline you pick up because, you know, Jax has some shit that he's kind of been dealing with on personal mm. levels. We have Celeste offering you a little bit of a, a job, helping her find out whatever the fuck is, like, floating, moving... S s s what's that shit called? The like, con constellation is. There's Spatial. Vera, Vera, who's going to, like, do her research and, and try and get revenge on the fuckers that destroyed, almost killed her and Jax back in the day. Then you have... 
uh, fucking uh, a oh, Lazarin's shit. backstory. We have Brooks's thing where he's wanted for murder, apparently, that he didn't do. Uh, Kessa's dad's disease. Uh, and there's more that I just. But that's just. There's the whole fucking invitation to talk with Strahd thing going on that also just kind of. Yeah, oh fuck, I forgot about that. Like, yeah. There's, there's oh, a lot yeah, of shit yeah, going yeah. on, dude. Well, we and I'm excited just to see whatever the fuck you guys decide. Because we, well, I don't, I don't, I don't even know what you guys are gonna do next. You know what I mean? I have no idea. Turns this into a Curse of Strahd uh, gameplay. Just, um, just, well, just if if, if slash when you guys go up to that whole yeah. Strahd bit, it's gonna be, it's not gonna be Curse of Strahd, but it's gonna be very much inspired by Curse of Strahd. You know? I know. It's just funny to be like, hey, we can do some shit. Curse of Strahd, though. <laughs> hey, it's Halloween time, baby. <laughs> um, and there's more. It's lot. like you're gonna okay. A lot. We're, we're, we're about to call it here anyway, so I'm like I'm, I'm gonna leave you off with with the, oh, the usual like teaser that I do. Is you're gonna arrive in Eldilon, and Eldilon is um. Let's just say that some shit happened there while you were away as well, that may change certain relations you once had in that city. General Cron is dead. General Cron is dead. General Cron is dead. She was oh, killed by God. the night webs. Probably. And with that, unless anyone else has anything to say, because I could talk about last session in the potential future. For We're going to come back to Eldalon and it's going to be like fucking Donald Glover in community when he comes back. With the pizza and the whole place is on fire. <laughs> like the whole council is going to have been used up by nightwebs or some shit. Just you hear this fucking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's like police sirens going off and like, we don't have police cars. Cyberpunk. <laughs> it's just like, cool. Some no mission vendor showed up and we have, we have, we, this we, now. Get, we get back to Eldalon. <laughs> <laughs> in Night City. Yeah. We're on a Reeves! You can That's become. Our next guest, dude, you guessed it. Our next guest is going to be Keanu Reeves, guys. Woo! We are the Cyberpunk arc. Let's go! <laughs> oh, fuck. Anyway. And there's watching. a prohibition. And there's prohibition. Uh, thanks no! for watching, everybody. Thanks for being here, boys. Uh, hope you guys had fun. We'll be here on yeah, Sunday. Imagine and, killing uh, one of your favorite characters, bro. That's crazy. Fuck you. Uh, yeah, we'll see. One of your six favorite characters. My, one of my six children. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> see you guys on Sunday for the next session of uh, Dungeon Selects. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye. Bum, bum, bum. Bum. Bum, bum, 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 bum.